If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Artillery series. In this episode, we are going to learn about expectations in artillery. Expectations are nothing but an assertion or checkpoint in other tools. By default, artillery doesn't have the core feature of expectations. You need to leverage the artillery plugin. You can use the npm install command to install the expect plugin. To run the script with expectations, you need to pass the debug flag equals plugin colon expect so that it will display the expect results. These are the expectations are supported in artillery. Status code, content type, and also it has equals, regular expressions, header equals, has header. And also if you want to check the property, you can use the has property and not has property. Now let us see a quick demo how we can leverage expectations to check in your response or the headers. The first step is to install the expect plugin using the npm install command. Then you need to mention the plugins declaration in your YAML file. Here in line number three and four, we have the plugins, which has the expect declaration. And to add the expectations, you need to leverage the expect object here. In line number 51, we have the expect as matches regex which has the uh, dot plus, which means it will check whether the body is present or not in the response. If it is matching, then it will pass. Otherwise it will fail. Similarly, in the next call, we are checking the status code equals 200 and the content type is XML or not. Now let us execute this using the debug equals plugin colon uh, expect command and hit enter. Now this will run the expect checks and then it will display the appropriate results. For the first call, which is the post one, as you see here, it is matching the regular expression. So the result is true. Similarly, for the get call, we have the status code 200, which is fine. But the second one content type is just uh, not OK because our expected is XML, but the actual is application JSON. This is intentional. Now let us change the content type to JSON here in our YAML file. Let us clear the screen and let us start the execution again. Now the execution is done. And if you scroll up, you can see all are green. The regular expression also true. And for the second call, we have the status code 200 and the content type JSON, which is the expected one and also the actual one. So like this, you can keep adding your expert conditions and make sure your response is working fine. This will give us more confidence during the load testing. I hope this video is pretty useful. Please check it out the other tutorials about artillery in this playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.